Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my last try on of 2020. I can't believe it. We made it. I don't know what next year brings. I don't really want to think about it but I just wanna share clothes. <laughs> so today I'm gonna to be sharing a bunch of stuff from Nordstrom that I recently picked up. And actually one thing, I am so bummed because I know you guys would love it and it sold out so fast <laughs> before I like literally arrived and I looked online to go link it for you guys and it was sold out. So I am going to find it in another retailer though. I'm determined to find it somewhere else. So I'm gonna link it down below, but it might not be at Nordstrom, but everything else I think is still available from Nordstrom. I got some sweaters, I got some boots that are super cute that I can't wait to share with you guys and a new pair of leggings. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first up I have a bunch of boots. I'm gonna share them here and then I'm gonna try them on for you guys. But I got a couple pairs of boots from Sam Edelman and these I have been wanting, well, I just have been wanting a new black, I don't wanna say over the knee boot because I'm so over that trend. I'm so over the like super skin tight boot that goes over your, like knee, I don't know, I just don't like that. I just don't think it's very flattering on. I don't know, it just doesn't flatter me because I am so short. I feel like it just makes me look way shorter and stumpier. And I had a pair, I actually sold them. So I wanted a new pair. And I have a pair of boots that I got from the Nordstrom sale that I, it was a like last minute purchase. I never shared it in a Nordstrom anniversary sale video, but they are one of my favorite boots. They are called the Vince Camuto Derica, I think, boot. And I got them in like a nude kind of color, but they are the best taller boot for short people. <laughs> I love them so much. And when I sold my black over the knee boots, I was like, okay, I'm going to be on the hunt for a black pair. The Derrica boots do come in a black. I'm going to link those down below for you guys so you can check them out. But I just wanted something a little bit more chic and I wanted to try something different. So I got these and you guys, I really like them. I like them because they don't go over the knee. They're a little bit, I don't wanna say of like a slouchy boot, but they hit like right under the knee. So they, my knee shows, and I don't know why, that just makes such a difference. Um, so they are these right here. I also, I my black over the knee boot had a rounded toe and I definitely love the pointed toe. I think it's much more flattering as well. But this is what they look like. I love them. Um, I did size up a half size to a nine and a half. I actually ordered a nine, my true size, and a nine and a half, and the nine and a half was much better, especially because I want to wear them with socks. So I think they are so pretty. I'm gonna try them on for you guys. They are called the HAI High high black suede boot. So I'll try them on for you guys. Okay, so here are the Sam Edelman boots on. You guys, I really like them. I maybe wish they were like a slight bit shorter, um, but you can kind of slouch them down a little bit. But I just think they are so much more flattering than that like section tight over the knee boot that like comes up like, I feel like half of them came up like up to my thigh and it just, it was just not a good look. I just don't like it. Um, so I really like these boots a lot better. I love the pointed toe. I love the heel on them. I think they're really chic. So I think these are a winner. All right, next up, I got two pairs of boots that are the exact same in two different colors. I ordered both colors because I was like, I'm just gonna see which one I like. I'm gonna see which color I think I would get a lot aware of and I can't decide. <laughs> and I know I'm like, I can't keep both. It's just, not practical, but I really like them. They're also from Sam Edelman and they are called the Laguna Boot. And I love them. I think they're awesome and fun and kind of trendy. They are these right here. So this is the black pair um, and they are waterproof, but they're just kind of like a flat Chelsea boot with like a bigger lug sole on the bottom. I love them. I almost love this better than a combat boot. I went on a crazy hunt this year for a combat boot and I don't feel like I've gotten enough wear out of them because you have to like lace them up and everything. I just really like these because you can slip them on and go and they're waterproof. So this is the black pair. I went true to size and then this is the other color that I got. I love these two. I really love this like nude color. They are so awesome. So I'm like really torn on which one. I think I would get more wear out of the black, to be honest. 
but this nude pair is just so cool so I don't really know let me know in the comments down below I'm gonna try them both on at the same time and maybe you guys can help me decide okay here are the Sam Edelman Laguna boots I think I like the black <laughs> I don't know I can't tell I need to try them on with like different jeans too because I think a pair of straight leg jeans would look so cute with a nude pair but these I think would get more wear out of so I love them I think they're so fine let me know which one you guys like you guys can help me decide because I am very indecisive so so fun so cute I really like them all right, next up I have a couple of sweaters from Nordstrom and I've shared some on stories and Instagram already a couple times, but this one is by far my favorite. It is an oversized kind of boxier tunic length sweater. It is so cozy and soft. It is not heavy. So if you're not into like the really heavy sweaters, this one is perfect because it's lightweight. It's super soft. Um, I will say it runs a little big. I got a small, I actually ordered the extra small as well. It's still on its way to me. Um, so I'm not really sure which size I'm going to keep, but this one is the small, but it is so incredibly soft. It comes in a ton of different colors. They've had some really good sales on this one as well. So I will link it down below. All right, the next sweater I got, I actually got it in two colors and I had ordered it and then I started reading the reviews and I was like, ugh, all the reviews say it's super itchy, it's bad, it's not good. And then I got it in the mail, I was like, this is not itchy <laughs> and it is super soft and I love it. <laughs> I don't know why the reviews are so bad on it. Um, I love this sweater. I think it's really soft. It's one of those lighter weight knit sweaters. I wouldn't say it's like super cuddly and like fleecy soft, but it's not itchy or scratchy or anything. I don't know. I don't know why people think that. Maybe maybe it is and I just don't feel it. I don't know, but I really, really love this one. So this is the like camely color. The length is great for leggings. This is the size small. Um, and like I said, this is the camel color. It's like a ribbed, you can kind of see like a ribbed knit. Um, and then the other color I got is a gray one, which I'll share next. All right, so here is the gray one. I love this one just as much. I don't know. I was gonna like decide when it came and then I was like, oh, I think I'm just gonna keep them both because I love them. Um, so pretty, I love the like gray heathered look on this one. Very oversized, cozy, comfy definitely a good find. And then this is the last sweater that I got and I'm not gonna lie to you guys this one's not my favorite. Um, I'm gonna link it for you guys if you want to look at it. I think it would be best if it was way marked down but when I pulled it out and I put it on I was like this feels like a Target sweater. Like it doesn't feel like special like the material doesn't feel like really good quality um, but I do like the fit of it so it's a really long kind of tunic length one. It has a kind of like cowl neck turtleneck collar. It has the ribbing detail. The color is really pretty. It's kind of like a slate gray color. Um, also comes in a bunch of other colors as well. This is the size small and I think it fits true to size but again the material is kind of like a cotton material I would say but very light and like I said, just not as great. I feel like it, it was something that I could buy maybe at Target and the price tag did not reflect that. So I don't know. I'm gonna link it down below. You guys can check it out. If they had like a really good sale on this one, I would say definitely grab it because it is really nice, but just not, it's just kind of like Target quality to me. Okay, and next up, you guys are gonna be so mad at me because this is the item that sold out so fast. Like I literally ordered it, it came, and it was sold out by the time it got to my door. Um, but it is this Nike hoodie I shared. It's one of my top sellers for 2020 from the Nordstrom sale. It was a crew neck, kind of like oversized, not cropped, but like shorter crew neck sweatshirt in this color. You guys loved it. <laughs> and it sold out so fast during the Nordstrom sale. Um, and then it came out, I saw in this hoodie and I was like, I'm grabbing that because I love it and I want to share it because it's this color. You guys all loved it. 
and then it sold out. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to find it somewhere else in like another retailer. I think there's another retailer that whole, uh, that carries this in this color as well. I actually did size up to the medium. I always size up in Nike because I feel like their stuff kind of shrinks down when I wash it and sweatshirts and stuff, I don't wanna like hang dry. I just wanna like throw it in the dryer and not really think about it. So I always size up to the medium. I will say though, it is kind of like baggy. So if you wanna go true to size. I personally think it does fit true to size, but I just always size up in Nike. So this is a medium. Um, I love it. It did come in other colors too, but it all sold out, but I will try to find it and link it down below for you guys. All right. And then the last thing, the leggings I have been wearing in this entire video, I finally decided to grab these. They are the commando faux leather leggings. A lot of people have grabbed these and raved about these even over the Spanx leggings. And I had waited and waited and then I was like, I'm gonna pull the trigger, I'm gonna try them and we'll see how they compare to the Spanx. And I actually think they're way different than the Spanx and I think you can own both. <laughs> so here's why. I actually think this feels like a leather. Like I feel this and it feels more like leather than the Spanx, because the Spanx is more of a shiny legging rather than like a leather. This is actually a leather. It's a lot thicker and a lot warmer than the Spanx. The Spanx are much thinner. I will say they're very, very high-waisted. Um, they do kind of have a smoothing effect. I love them. I love them, and I, like I said, I think I have room for both in my closet. I think I would wear them both. So I'm gonna keep these. I went true to size small, kind of like my Spanx. I get a small petite in my Spanx and I got a regular small in these. I don't think they come in a petite size, otherwise I would buy them because I do have a little bit, they're a little long at the ends, but I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. I'm gonna try to come up close so you guys can see the like. They're definitely more like leathery and thicker. I love them. I think they're good. <laughs> and I might do an entire video on this versus the Spanx. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So that is it for my Nordstrom try on haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the links will be down below in the description box. Like this video. If you liked it, stay and subscribe if you're not. And I will see you guys in my next try on in 2021. Woo! Bye.